excited. This is just a win. Win. I'm a graduate student in the Ethnomusicology program at uh, Indiana University Bloomington. Um, I've been there for three years now, working on my master's thesis, presumably. Um, <laughs> um, th that was uh, that was a um, Bollywood song. It's actually a pretty classic Bollywood song from like the 60s or 70s, um, and uh, it, it's part of me trying to figure out whether I can get to consider myself a traditional Vietnamese musician, which is what everyone ends up calling me whenever I do these kind of things. But, um, I mean, you can listen to my voice. I like, every once in a while a southern word comes out. I was born in North Carolina. Um, <laughs> so, you know, uh, how traditional can I be, right? Um, and and I, I would urge, uh, so, so is this an intro to? Uh, this is uh, Southeast Asian music. Southeast Asian music. Yeah, I mean, just, just, like, when, when, when you learn these things, of course you learn them, but I would also urge you to think about, like, the specific function of the things you're, uh, the things you're listening to uh, or, or in your classes. You know, like, regular kids in Indonesia don't listen to gamelan. Um, <laughs> like, like I mentioned, some folks who were here earlier, like, they listen, listen to, like, punk rock. And it's totally sweet, by the way, if you want to listen to Indonesian punk rock for that. Um, but what I'm, I'm here to talk about a little bit is this instrument. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing a, a lecture in like an hour. Uh, that'll be in a little bit more detail. But while I'm here, I wanted to share a little bit with you, with you guys. Uh, this is the, the Vietnamese uh, Dan Bo, D-A-N-B-A-U. There you go. Uh, Vietnamese uh, was changed to a Latin alphabet because of French missionaries. So, the yeah, Don, Bo, and then we got a bunch of diacritics to re represent all of our different pitches in the language. Um, the, the word Don in Vietnamese means um, instrument, and the, the word Bo means a gourd. And the reason uh, the, the gourd part is there is because of this little thing. Uh, with, with traditional uh, Vietnamese uh, Don, Bo, or sometimes you'll see it referred to as a monochord, as well it has one string. Um, but the reason it's called a, a danbo is because of this, which traditionally would be very large and made out of a gourd. So it was a resonator uh, for the instrument. You know, like you know, the guitar, the entire body is the resonator for it. With this instrument, just this part the string goes into is where it vibrates out of. Um, or at least, in the, at least in the old days. The problem with having a little gourd uh, resonator like that is that it's not very loud. Okay, um, this one's made out of wood and it's just for decoration, uh, so it doesn't really do much. But even if I can give, give you an idea of the acoustic sound if I just unplug it and and you imagine that slightly louder. Okay, so what happens oftentimes is that the plucking sound is louder than the melody itself, so it's not really that attractive sounding. And, and what you see in, in the um, 